Let's review quadratic functions. The question here is, which of the following quadratic relations has different x-intercepts than the other three? So we have no option then to find x-intercepts for each one of them, right? So the first one, x-intercept means y value 0. So we'll get a 0 for x is equals to 2 or minus 3. So these are the two values. In this case, it is minus 3 or it is equals to 2, which is kind of same, right? Now that means we're left with these two. So let's do this one first. We are looking for product of all another ways, just check with 2 and 3. If you write 2 here, do you get a 0 or not? If you write minus 3 here, do you get a 0 or not? That's another way of checking now, okay? Well, let's factor it. So if you factor it, we are looking for two numbers whose product is, let's say p times q is minus 6. And when you add them, you get minus 1. So the numbers could be, of course, 3 and 2. And since you want negative when adding, so it would be minus 3. And therefore, I can write this as x minus 3 times x plus 2, right? Now, in this case, what are the roots? Roots are plus 3 and minus 2, not these two. Do you see that? And therefore, this has a different solution, right? Now, the only difference here and in this equation is that this is common factor of 3. So, let me rewrite this x squared plus x minus 6, correct? This is almost the same equation with this as plus, which will change, right? So, so since this is plus, so we'll take 3 as plus and 2 as negative. So we'll get 3 as plus and 2 as negative, right? Which is same as these factors. Do you see that? So therefore, D is not what the same x intercepts. D does not belong to the same family. That's what we can say, okay? So that is how we can solve this. Thank you.